Hey guys, it's me Nayaki Karathor and welcome back to my channel Take It Good with Nayaki So, in the last video on the occasion of Father's Day, I showed you a translation app which I created by myself for my father. And today, I'll be telling you how to create that app. Okay, so, if you want to sign in to Thunkable, you'll be creating this app on Thunkable. Type this URL x.thunkable.com slash projects. Your all projects will appear. Just a minute. So then we need to click on create an app and we need to type our app's name translation app. You can type any name for your choice for my convenience so that I can detect it properly. So I have written this as translation app. Then we need only one screen. If you want like one screen should be of translation, it shows translation page, then you should click on translation and then it should move to another screen and it all it's your choice. But for your convenience, I'm telling you to two screens so that it's not congested, right? Okay. So that's this is a screen one. I'm um, be naming it as home screen. Or we can even name it as telephone screen. Okay? Yes. So, in uh, components, we need to search for a column and put it. Okay. Then in column, we will put a label. And always you know that the coding is a mail and label and then all. The basic things like the text input, the button that we need to put. Okay? These label and all these are just designed to look that app more attractive. The UI, the user interface and the UX, user experience. Okay, that's all. Okay. So you can design it yourself. Like you want, uh, you want one screen, two screen, three screens on. Okay, and uh, where you want the text and words, where you want the button, and then all you have choice. Just. The code and the main main parts I'm just telling you know, and all it's your choice, okay? So I'll choose the font size of it as 40. It's good. Then we'll use again a label. This is a translation app. In this we can translate any language from any okay, from any other language. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So now we'll be putting an image. So for that we need an image component. Okay, so we'll put an image components. If you want, you can put or you can even increase the text. You can write something more in the text. Okay, because I have written some similar lines. Like this is a translation app, so anyone knows this is a translation app. Everyone knows. Okay, so it's your turn what you want to write. I've just given you an idea. Okay, so now we'll upload the file and in the downloads, I have the image in downloads. This translate.jpg. Let's choose it. Okay, so I can even increase it or I can even decrease it. It's my choice and that's even your choice. Okay, so like if you don't want this image, uh, you want another image or something else, it's your choice. Okay, it's not my props. Now, uh, after the image, we'll just so sorry for that. After the image, we'll just put an um, uh, button. Okay, yeah, there. So here we put a button translation page. Okay, so that's my choice. Even like you can even move it somewhat like uh, this button in right side, and it's all your choice. Or in column, you can go and uh, in column, you can do the word you want to space around. It's your, your choice. Okay, so this button, let me rename it. And navigate okay. So now here I should need to put the blocks and for button navigate, click. Then just a minute, let me add a screen. 
this will be a zoom in. Yeah. So this will be a screen translation. Okay. Translation. Okay. Now let's go. Uh, I need to go to welcome screen and when button I can click click and controls navigate to translation. Okay. Good. Then yeah, so now we need to design the screen and then the code. Okay, so um, here we we'll need two text inputs. Sorry, three text inputs, not two. First, a column. Column is more easier. I mean, from column, the designing can be done even more easy. Even more easy. Okay, one more text input. And for more of it, we need many of them. Okay, so yeah, then uh, some labels, and we need a row because we want label and write uh, source language, and write to it, we want the first text input for the source language. So, for that, we we'll need a Row because it will put right to left or left to right and horizontally the row will put the components and because we cannot choose column because column puts it vertical. Then one more row for the text input two, which is for the uh, what I can say target language. Again a label. Also for this one, and I have it. So now I can it to as bit contents and this one I want it to be um, absolute size and uh, sorry yeah, I went this to it to this to small bit so okay okay 250 yeah that's good and I want it to be an absolute size which is needed us to be as per bit that's too much yeah 300 the text Oh, so sorry guys, now, uh, this minute, uh, it sometimes loads automatically to save it and sometimes the save text doesn't appear so don't be tinged. Okay, 200 yeah, 200 is good enough. So right now, uh, there also we need a button, yeah, to translate it. Let's say this common sense. And every coder has common sense, even. And if you have seen my channel, you have my channel, then you know code. Okay? So now I choose a label for it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, these text input are greasy. Wet. It's too much. The languages are not big enough like that. Okay? So, 200. Yeah, that's good. It's size 200. And this one is text input source. And this one is text input target. Okay. Then we need to go to row and put it horizontal alignment, space around. And again, it uh, to space around. So now as we have done with this piece around, so this text will be our source language. Uh, source. Only source even we can put. I put only source. It's your choice from uh, the user's convenience. You can even put that. Okay. But it's not as we in prefer it so. And this is a blank. It will show the written text here. Okay. And let me go to the column and the vertical alignment I need to give it squat space around so it looks good enough okay okay so now you might be thinking like translation lab so we need to enter so much code for many languages but next that is not so like that that's not like that okay just in components we need to search for translator okay it's clean translator so now it's too easy for okay 
now we'll drag in an invisible component okay and source language it can be this one because the default target language and source language will choose it as okay. the default source language will be English and the default target language will be Hindi otherwise the user will type the text even the language even and what's will be uh, changing the text of this button to translate okay that's good so as you know it automatically refreshes after some time so no need uh, there's no tension okay so this minute yeah so now you change it this text to translate and the button id also Oh, so sorry. Yeah, and this text input ID also we need. Okay, that's good. Then again, we need a button to go to the welcome screen again. So that we'll choose it after this. You can design it yourself. I'm just telling the basics. Okay, so you can even put this to left, right, or as uh, anywhere you want it. Okay, so that's now we'll move to the main thing of this translation. So here, first we'll do with the button home. When button home will be clicked, uh, it will navigate to welcome screen. Okay, yeah. So uh, now what we'll do is when button translate will be clicked. Okay, so at that time. Uh, we need to know from translator 1 and from translator 1 set source language to text input source so that get text okay from here we get the text and we get this from translator 1 set target language to from text input target get text now in translator 1 in translator 1 call translate the text which needs to be translated is this one from text input text we need to get the text okay and now this label 5 which is a result label this set text to the result just take this one here okay so now the code has been completed now let's check it like this it I wish it has been good. Translation page, source, and remember we need to type the source and target language in capital English, target language Italian, and type hello. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it came CIO. Here, now it can be even in French. In Spanish, any like text also, okay? In Hindi, and many other, okay? So there are many languages for us to translate, okay? So that was my today's video, and this my apps. Uh, Link will be given in the description box so you can even see the code from here and make your own app. But please don't copy that. That's not good. If you have you have learned something, make it your own app. Okay? Make it a habit to make your own app. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for my latest updates so that you can be updated whenever I upload a new video. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.